Hi, Goldie here. Thanks for uh, joining us. Today we're going to talk about the limited access to care that a lot of Medicare patients have. You see, about one out of five doctors and a third of all primary care doctors have actually limited the number of Medicare patients they're willing to see. And the reason is, is that as their overhead, the cost to run a doctor's office, as that cost is increasing dramatically, the payments they get, the reimbursements for Medicare have actually decreased significantly. They just can't afford to see these patients anymore. And it's a shame because about 25% of Medicare patients say they have trouble finding a doctor willing to see them. And those can come at a worse time because this year, 2011, marks the year of the first of 75 million baby boomers turned 65 and are going to start joining the Medicare rolls. Now, this baby boomer generation, they're going to be the sickest, incur many, many, many more costs than any other generation of the past. And there's just not, simply not enough doctors willing to see them. Couple this problem uh, with what's going on today in terms of less and less and less people leave medical school are going into geriatrics or even primary care. In fact, if this problem persists, by, 20, by 2030, Medicare is going to become insolvent. And one of the reasons for this is that these kids graduating medical school they don't want to go into a specialist because if they go into something else, they're going to make more money. If they go into geriatrics, they're going to make less money. They're, unfortunately, it takes a lot more time to treat a, a senior citizen than it does a child or a middle-aged adult. So their volume's low, uh, their, their payments that they receive are low, and they just, it just economically doesn't make sense for them. This is coming at a huge problem. So much that the American uh, Geriatric Society has actually said, today there's about 7,000 board-certified geriatricians in the U.S., or one for about every uh, 2,700 senior citizens age 20, 75 or older. By the year 2030, that number is going to drop in half. There's going to be one geriatrician for every 5,500 senior citizens. That's a problem. This needs fixing. We need to get people and encourage them to get into geriatrics. We need to be able to have providers take care of an aging population. We need to get care to these people. It needs to become win-win, and we need to do it soon. Thank you.